You may already be familiar with Zoom due to the pandemic, but in this video, I'll gear it towards seniors who want to use this for their own personal use. I'll give you an idea of the basic setups and how you can get started. Zoom is a free app you can download from the App Store, allowing you to create a virtual conference room, video chat one-on-one, -on -one, host a webinar, and join audio and video meetings online. Zoom works on Android, Apple devices, and PC, so you can communicate with everyone on your contacts list. You can download my free resource guide for Zoom on the iPhone in the video description. And if you want to join me for some live Q&As, you'll find a sign-up link there as well. Let's get started. If you don't have Zoom downloaded to your uh, iPad, head on over to the App Store and download the Zoom app. It's free. Once you've downloaded the Zoom app, you'll need to create an account. Open the app and you'll see three options. Join meeting, sign up, and sign in. To create an account, choose sign up. Enter your birth date and tap confirm. Enter your name, email address, and agree to the terms. Go ahead and tap sign up. Now head over to the inbox of the email address you signed up with. Click the link inside to activate your Zoom service. Now go ahead and set up your password. The Zoom app will ask you if it can send notifications and access your calendar. This helps schedule and remember your meetings. You can also use Siri to start your Zoom call and devices with Touch ID and Face ID have the option to sign in with those features. If someone has requested you join a meeting, there are several ways to join. First, if you've received an email invitation like you see here, click on the link included and follow the prompts. Sometimes the password is included in the link, but if not, you'll need the password that's included in that email. If you've only received uh, the meeting ID in an email, all you need to do is open the Zoom app, tap on join, type in the meeting ID. And if you've already used this meeting ID previously, if you click on the little down arrow, you'll see a list of all of the meeting IDs that you've used previously. You can click on that and once you do, Tap on join and you'll be connected to that meeting. You'll also see options below to not connect to audio and to turn off your video when joining the meeting if that's what you want to do. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to walk you through scheduling meetings because that's what I prefer to do is schedule my meetings. You can do it instantly using your personal meeting ID but I prefer to schedule things so that um, I know exactly when they're happening. So to do that, you come into the Zoom app and you tap on schedule and you can you know, write in whatever you wanna name the meeting. You can create the date and the time that you want the meeting to start and then the duration. If you are on the free Zoom plan, you are only going to be able to schedule 40 minute meetings. If you want meetings that last longer than 40 minutes, then at that point you need to upgrade to the pro plan. You also can, you know, make it a repeating meeting if you want, and you can have it scheduled in your calendar of choice if you want. Once you've done all, you know, set up all of the information that you want, you'll go ahead and click on save. And as you can see, if I come into meetings, let me come back into meetings, you'll see that I have a meeting scheduled here from noon to 12.30 p.m. I can click on that meeting and I can choose to, uh, you know, add people to it by clicking on add invitees, and then you have options. You can send them a message, you can send them an email, or you can copy it to your clipboard, and that's usually what I do. And then I come into my email app, I post the link to the meeting, and then I can invite as many people to that meeting as I want to. You also want to be very careful about who you share that meeting link with. 
You don't just want random people showing up at your meetings. So you can also kind of help with that by turning on a couple of features inside of uh, Zoom. So I'm going to come into this meeting that I've already created. I'm going to tap on edit and I'm going to scroll down and you'll see that you can choose to enable a waiting room. If I turn that on, nobody will be admitted to the meeting until I have turned or until I've actually admitted them. So you can also, you know, make your meetings a little more secure by turning on enable waiting room and then bringing people in uh, as, as they enter into the waiting room. That sometimes can, and can be a little bit of a hassle, but it's worth it if you want to keep people out that weren't invited. Let's talk about some of the other Zoom features and settings. If I come into the Zoom app and I tap on more, here you'll see a list of settings. If I tap on meetings, these are the settings that I can set up for every meeting that I schedule. So I can choose to auto connect to audio by Wi-Fi. I can choose to have my microphone muted upon entry into a meeting. I can also have my video off if I choose to when I enter the meeting. I can touch up my appearance. I can choose a, a virtual background if I want, and I'll show you that in a little bit. And so these are some of the things that you can set up ahead of time for each and every meeting that you attend. You also have the option to share your screen or other things from uh, with inside of Zoom. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to come back into meetings and I'm going to tap on my meeting and I'm going to tap on start. And then once I get in, you'll see that my video is not started. So all I need to do, and you'll see that the menu has disappeared, just tap on the screen to get it back. And then I'll tap on start video at the top of the screen and you'll see the video has started. If I tap on share content at the top of the screen, I have the option to share uh, my screen of my iPad or iPhone or iMac if I'm on it. I can also share photos, iCloud Drive, Dropbox, uh, and several other options that you can choose to share with uh, your meeting participants. I can't really show you that now because I'm recording the screen and it won't allow me to do that. But if you wanted to share something, that's how you would go in to share items with your meeting participants. Some other options inside of your Zoom meeting are under the option where it says more in the upper right corner. You can choose to chat with participants uh, that are in the meeting by just you know, typing your message in and hitting send. And you can even send messages to individuals if you choose. Uh, let me come back up to the more area. You can choose uh, backgrounds and effects if you want. So, you know, you can choose a virtual background if you want. Um, you know, you have the option to choose video filters and avatars. You can toggle on if you're using a green screen. So those are some of the other uh, features that you have available under this more option. You also have the option to raise your hand, give a thumbs up. So there's some emojis that you can also use with inside of Zoom. You can even set up shortcuts to view your meetings, join your next uh, scheduled meeting, or start a personal meeting. You just need to remember to enable Hey Siri on your iPhone or iPad. Um, and to set up Siri inside of your uh, Zoom meeting, you'll come into the Zoom app like we are here, and then you'll come down to where it says More. You'll tap on Siri Shortcuts, and here you can just choose, you know, to add these to the Shortcuts app, and then you'll be able to use them with inside of Zoom. Hopefully you're comfortable using Zoom. If you need further guidance, let me know in the comments section and I'll see if I can help 
Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.